On this edition of the Home Tip Show, we're going to answer the question, do modern refrigerator water filters actually work? We'll be comparing tap water to refrigerator filtered water with both an expired and a new fridge filter to our reverse osmosis filtered water system. That's right, it's the 2022 edition of our water filter showdown on the Home Tip Show. Let's do it. So this is the meter that we're gonna be using today. It's a TDS meter from Amazon. I think it was roughly $15 when I bought it uh, about two years ago. And it measures in TDS parts per million, our total dissolved solids. So according to this little chart on the back, zero to 50 is considered ideal drinking water. So this is what you would expect from a reverse osmosis system from a, um, our distillation system, you know, nice expensive uh, water filtration systems. 50 to 100 is what you can expect typically from mountain or spring water that you might buy at the store or carbon filters, which refrigerator filters are carbon filters. 100 to 200 is typically uh, where they would consider you to have hard water. 200 to 400, marginally acceptable. So this is average tap water you can expect. 400 would be mineral spring. Any TDS reading above 500 parts per million is considered contaminated by the EPA. Okay, now let's move on to our first test. Reverse osmosis water, because we know it's the clean. So we'll let it run for a second, give it a swish. And we'll fill it up about halfway. Okay, let that settle down. Tap water. Um, we'll rinse this with the RO. And we will fill it up about halfway. Okay, I've rinsed the cup labeled original filter with the RO water and we're gonna fill it up about halfway. Tap, original, and RO. So we'll dip it into, let's swirl that around just a little bit, just so we get a good mix. And we'll drip that in there. And looks like about a 78. Go ahead and rinse it again, try it again. Um, yeah, it was a 78. This is the original filter that came in the Samsung refrigerator that's about, let's just say, nine months old. Right at a 75. And we'll rinse it in the RO just for consistency's sake. Clear it. This, the filters that are in the RO system are, they're about nine months old as well. I think I replaced them last February, January timeframe. So let's dip it in. So that's about right. They're at, they're at uh, four parts per million. Okay, we've got the new filter installed. So now we're gonna go ahead and run about a gallon of water through this. Um, it, uh, um, I've already ran about a half gallon through it, uh, which you didn't see, I was off camera. Uh, it was spit and sputtered as I was doing it, as um, it should when you install a new filter that's empty of water, because it's gonna have to fill that new filter up with water um, and pressure through it. So, and because this isn't um, a new filter, I also have pre-installed this filter and ran it for a day or two, um, actually for about a week just so that you can clear all the contaminants, I would clear all the contaminants out of the filter to guarantee that I was getting an accurate reading. Anytime, whether it's an RO or a carbon-based filter, anytime you get a new filter, you need to run a few gallons or follow the manufacturer's instructions um, so that you're getting the, the little tiny contaminants out of the line before you drink it or use it in cooking or in our case do a test with it so i'm going to fast forward here i'm 
come over here and go ahead and run about a half cup of water from the refrigerator with the new filter. Since the last time we've done this test, we've upgraded our kitchen refrigerator from a 15 year old Frigidaire to a new French door bottom freezer, Samsung and stainless steel. Our old refrigerator became our new garage refrigerator and we donated our old garage fridge to a friend in need. Now it's important to note that water clarity will vary throughout the year as water res reservoir levels change over time. There it is, all the filter. So let's rinse our, turn on the TDS meter, give it a rinse to the RO water and Set to zero. 60, right? It uh, looks like about a 60, 68. So how did that compare to our original filter? It is better, which is, I would expect it to be somewhat better. That was a filter that technically was past its lifetime. You're only supposed to run filters for six months, at least with this refrigerator. So as you can see here, we have our RO was, the first run was a four. Tap water was a 77. Uh, the original filter was a 75, and the new filter was a 68. So for the taste test phase of this project, we brought in two expert taste testers from Thailand, who we'll call Taste Tester 1 and Taste Tester 2. Additionally, we've introduced Sam's Club purified bottled water to the test as another data point. This water is reverse osmosis purified and includes calcium chloride to extend the shelf life of the bottled water and sodium bicarbonate to neutralize the alkalinity of the water to help make the bottled water less stale over time. The addition of these two chemicals to the bottled water increases the TDS to 25. Okay, go ahead and start. Rank the waters uh, from best to worst and describe the the flavor okay. uh, as you go along. Here we go. Here's no taste. Let me know the smell. <laughs> I think this one smells good. Um, so it's not tap water. Might be RO. This tastes like bottled water. Okay, so you because put, I drink it all the time, so I first you gonna put that. Which one are you gonna put first? Uh, this is RO. Okay. First, this is bottle. Okay. This is just guessing. You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is tap water. Tap water. So no, you're gonna put that as last, last probably. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, let's see how you did. But um. Yeah, I'll put it right here. Okay. Start. All right. So we did RO. RO. You got it right. Um, bottled. Bottled. Tap. Uh, Refrigerator. Fridge. And, and tap. tap. Okay. All right. <laughs> now it's Nam's turn. Okay. So put them in order. And which tastes best, which tastes worst. So this is this is better than this one. Um, better. You have sm you smell anything? Okay, we'll put that one first. Why oh, I can't tell a difference? Okay, so um, that one is first. You can put that one first. Okay, let's yeah. see let's see how you rank these. First is RO. So that's reverse osmosis. Second, you got as bottled water. You're, you're going to end up exactly the same. That was Fridge <laughs> and <laughs> that the tap water. You, got, you both got it exactly right, and they went in order uh, from RO to bottled to fridge uh, to tap water. So there you go. It's definitive. Water quality and taste will vary from day to day, week to week, month to month, 
and year to year based upon a number of factors. For example, the TDS results from our last video in 2021 indicated a lower average total dissolved solids rating across the various filter systems that we tested. The local water reservoirs that feed the residential water system in our Raleigh-Durham, North Carolina area, however, has dropped an average of three feet from June of 2021, when our first water quality video was tested, through September of 2022 when we shot this video. If you enjoyed or learned something from this edition of the Home Tip Show, hit the subscribe button and like the video by hitting the thumbs up icon. Also, hit the bell icon to receive YouTube notifications when we produce new videos that you might be interested in. Hey, thank you for watching and we'll catch you next time on the Home Tip Show.